let's see what the second topic of the morning is. It is calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation, calming the water. Didn't we just have this one up here as well? Well, maybe it's a, uh, again, maybe the universe has got more to say on that subject. Calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation. So let's see what we have with this. What's in the center of it? Let's look and see. Calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation. Calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation. Okay, revelation, revelation. And let's see what we have with that revelation. Okay. Mystery. Mystery. So peaceful, self-regulation, revelation, mystery. If you want to get revelations, you want to get to the bottom of mysteries, then you have to have this peaceful. Again, calming things down, peaceful self-regulation so that things can be revealed. If the mind is just stirred up and stirred up and stirred up and cranking on something, what can be revealed? There's no stillness to be able to observe and to see things in clarity, okay? The challenge is dream time. Okay, let's see what we have with that. The challenge is dream time. Hold. Yeah, that's not a surprise. Okay, dream time. You know, if you're holding to the same fantasies, illusions, delusions, you know, again, when you're holding something, then the mind keeps cranking on the same thing and it can continue just to uh, make more of the same make more of the same. This is why it's so important to, again, come to a calmness, peaceful self-regulation, so that you can see deeper. You can see deeper and, and can go into more revelations, more wisdom, more knowledge. Okay, going forward, we have joy. A cute card. <laughs> I, the little sunny people sliding down this thing. <laughs> Joy. Okay. Now let's see what we have with that. Joy. Abundance. Yeah. If you want to have joy, okay, then again, Joy comes out of having calming, peaceful self-regulation, okay? Letting go, you know, of whatever it is that this things have a hold on that one keeps manufacturing, the dreams, the nightmares of the moment that one continues to engage, okay? Um, so again, the way to get to understanding, revelation, realization, the still mind, okay, 
is through peaceful self-regulation. It's not through angst, anger, lashing out, you know, uh, continuing drama. That's not the way one gets there. If you want, again, the, re the revelations, the mysteries to be revealed, then one has to take the path of self-regulation, calming the waters, okay? Then you can let go of whatever this dream that one is in, this nightmare that one has been holding to, okay? That can go by the wayside and one can enter more into an abundance of joy, okay? Um, so with that being said, I am going to um, put a link under this video to uh, a little bit about the path of Tao, the Tao. So what is Tao? It means the path, and it's a path. Uh, I think these readings today go along well with that. It's the path of, you know, going with the flow of life, okay, non-resistance. When there's resistance, you're kicking against the goads. You wind up only getting yourself wound up into drama, okay? And again, it's the whole reading today is uh, forgiveness, letting go, moving forward, getting into the flow of life instead of this resistance and fighting and drama and, you know, continued angst and anger and whatever it is that's going on, okay? So I'm going to put this link over here to a little bit about Tao, um, the path of flow. Uh, again, the Tao, if you understand uh, what Tao is, it's the same as realization, empty mind, still mind, coming to that zero point balance, the divine is, the pregnant void, uh, doesn't matter what you want to call it. Um, the, again, every tradition has a path to get to realization. Chinese, they have a number of them. Um, it's, uh, you have the path of the Tao, path of least resistance, going with the flow of life, enter the energy of the flow of life, okay? You have Zhou Chen, again, which is breaking through you have the path, like I teach, of Kundalini that takes one to realization as well, okay? Vajra Nirvana Mark, the lightning bolt path to realization is the name of my path that I, I give out. Um, so it doesn't matter, uh, you know, in Indian Native American tradition, they would go out and seek... Um, seek the answers they will go out and and be out for a time basically meditation looking observing questioning okay so in every type of tradition you're going to have those that enter that knowledge of the divine is or advaita okay beyond the divisionary world okay which opens everything to understand the divisionary world once one goes beyond it into that stillness, that divine is, that ever-present um, realization of what this um, energy, what this, wh whether you want to call it God, where you, whether you want to, it doesn't matter what name you want to put on it. It's There's only one singular energy <clears throat> that's prior to the world and lasts after the world and allows the world to take place, okay? So I'm gonna leave this here, much love and light, and we'll see you online.